Hey everyone, Al here. So I got a new little toy here. It's the Garmin Tempe and it's gonna connect with my watch and I'm gonna show you how to connect it and how it works with the Applied Ballistics program on the Garmin Tactics 7 Pro with ballistics. And I'm gonna let you know or give you my opinion why I think you should get one and uh, without further ado let's see what we got in the box. Okay so here's the Garmin Tempe. Um, I ordered it off at Amazon. Let's see what you get in the box. There's not a lot you get in the box really so here's the Tempe here and I, when I got it in this little bag here was the battery and the back cover. Now it is hard to separate this but uh, if you look right here if you see that little little dot when you go to put this on line up these two dots and then turn it doesn't really say that anywhere to do that but uh, that's what I figured out I had to do and just put this thing back together there you go and it actually stays in there pretty good and it's hard to get out so I'm thinking that when I attach it to my pack I'll just go through here with something so this thing does not shut off and uh, so you get this in the pack and then just uh, wireless temperature sensor tells you all about it I didn't even really look at it there wasn't much in there, only like a couple pages and then just this which is important safety so that's basically all you get in it okay so now I've got the battery installed in this I showed you how to do that by lining up those two little dots so let me back out of here so now let's say I'm going to connect this for the first time I'm going to press and hold the up button I'm going to scroll down to sensors and accessories. I'm going to hit, and then I'd hit add new. If I hit add new, then I can actually, I'm going to go up, and it should say somewhere Tempe. So I'd hit Tempe, and then I'd add a new one. But because I already have it in there, I'm just going to scroll up from here. And there it shows the tempe there and the number of it. And I have it turned off right now so it's not searching all the time. So I'm going to hit enter again. Now it says it's searching. I'm going to connect it. So now it's connecting. It takes a couple seconds. There you go. Okay, it's connected. I'm going to back out. So I'm going to go right to Applied Ballistics. If I don't go to Applied Ballistics right now, this thing will shut off. I can go to the temper on my temperature on my watch. I have to do it quickly. And you can see it's at 20 degrees. So that's the temperature of the Tempe right now. And when I checked it, when it was on my arm, it was 27 degrees. So I can check on here. Go down to Environment. And I'll put the Auto Update on. Now here it tells me it'll it'll update the latitude, pressure, and temperature will be updated every five minutes. If the tempi's not on, it'll say latitude and pressure only. It won't say temperature. So I know right now it's picking up the tempi. So there we go. So I can scroll down and it's probably going to say hopefully 20 degrees. There we go, 20 degrees. So that's the temperature right now of the tempi. That's what it's reading. If and like I say, if it was on my wrist, it would be reading. Um, 27 degrees, I believe that's what it was. So, right now, if you look, my range is 397. This is set up for a 22. I can show you that by going to profile. There you go, I'm set up for SK Standard Plus. So, I am set up for the Voodoo V22 with the SK Standard Plus ammo. And uh, so, at 397 meters, my dial up is going to be 25, well, basically 25.1 mils. Okay, so if I scroll back to environment, hit enter, I'm going to shut auto update off. Now that will shut off the tempe. And if I go here, I can show you that. Oops. still not off yet but it will and you'll see that 20 change here real soon 
there it goes, see 25 degrees. So 25 degrees is what the watch is reading right now. When it's on my wrist, before I took it off, it was 27. So let's uh, get out of here. Let's go back to Applied Ballistics. Let's go back to Environment. And go down to Temperature. It's going to stay 20 because it updates only every 5 minutes and I shut it off. So it's going to keep it at 20. I can manually change this. So let's go to 27 degrees. Which is what it was reading when it was on my arm. I hit Enter. Now I can hit the back button. Okay, now it's saying 24.68, which is, say, 24.7. 24.7. So the difference is uh, 0.4 mils in elevation. So if I wasn't using this, and I just had my watch on, and I was going by what it was saying on my wrist, I'd be 0.4 mils high. I would miss. So this is where the tempe comes in handy. And like again, it's very easy to turn the tempe back on. Turn that on. Back one more. Press and hold the middle button. Scroll down to sensors. Enter. And scroll up because it's quicker to find it. Is tempe not connected? And hit connect. So it should connect here fairly soon. A lot quicker than the first time, I hope. And as long as I, I found that as long as I leave my ballistics app open on the watch, it will not, so I'm connected, there we go, it will not shut off. I had it sitting there for a long time, just like this, and I'd go back, I'd go back to my environment and I'd check it, and I'd go down, and it would say, it would it'd be at 20. So, I'm going to get that to go to 20 right now by coming up top. Turning update on off and turning it back on. And hopefully it changed to 20. There we go, 20 degrees. So there we go. So the tempe is working right now. So with the tempe, you're not going to want to leave it in the direct sunlight. I was thinking just keeping it in my pack or somewhere where the ambient temperature is normal, whether it's, in, it's not in the shade or the sun. So that's what I plan on doing with the tempe. And uh, so when I'm not using it, like if I go, I could tell if I'm using it, like I said, that it's on by turning this on and off. And there we go, it says temperature. If I had the tempe off, which I'll show you right now, I will go back and shut it off. Go down to sensors and accessories, up to tempe, it's connected, I'm going to hit that so it's now off. Now back out of there, press and, oops, back out of there, go down to environment, okay, so auto's on, it'll still say 20 degrees down here, right, scroll back up, Far. I'm going to turn this back on. Now it just says latitude and pressure. It doesn't say anything about the temperature. The temperature will not be updated. It's just going to keep it at the number it is and you can change it manually if you want. But with the tempe, it will uh, automatically take the ambient temperature from where this thing's sitting. So that's why I think that this will be handy. If you're shooting a match and you're using the target card, which is uh, right up here. It'll take the temperature for all these when you range them. You don't have to worry about the temperature. It'll all be done automatically. And uh, it'll definitely give you better results. Like I say, a 0.4 difference on a 22 rimfire target at 397 will more than likely result in a miss. And it'll work the same for a ELR target with a center fire out past a thousand. I think anything within seven or in, um, you should be okay with the temperature swing that's on your wrist. So uh, that's why I have the Tempe, and uh, it's probably why you should get it too if you're going to use it this for the same things I'm going to be using it for. So uh, that's just the new 
device I just got, the Tempe, and I'm not sure how long the battery lasts. I read that it lasts quite a while. We'll see. I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know because I will be using this quite extensively once I can shoot again. So uh, that's the Garmin Tempe external temperature device for the Garmin Tactics 7 Pro with ballistics. So that's my review on the new Garmin Tempe uh, external temperature device for the Garmin Tactics 7 Pro with ballistics. So I highly recommend if you're going to be doing any long range shooting with a 22 or ELR shooting with a center fire that you get one of these because it will make a difference in your ballistic solution if you're just wearing your watch on your wrist. Another thing you can do is you can take your watch off your wrist and let it sit for a while until it gets the ambient temperature of your surroundings rather than having it on your wrist. So thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe and hit the notifications button so you don't miss any of the future content. Thanks everyone.